Boost Bernie Business is sponsored by Ambleside School of Bernie at AmblesideBernie.com. And this is Bernie Radio. And welcome to Boost Bernie Business here on Bernie Radio 103.9 FM. Baron Wiley broadcasting from the Richter studio here on Main Street right next to the Cork and Keg and underneath the Richter uh, Tavern. And just walking distance from here is Ambleside School of Bernie. And I'm so proud to have here in the studio Carly Seneff. She's the board president. And Clayton Patton, the board vice president. And I say welcome to Bernie Radio, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, and I'm really excited here. you got a big event coming up. It's the big annual golf tournament, a big fundraiser. Clayton, is this your department? Yes, this is the first annual Skylark Scramble. Ah. Uh, the purpose of the fundraiser is to raise money for high school expansion. Wow. Grower school. Because right now you're just serving elementary, middle school? That's correct. And pre-K, but we're looking to expand pre-K as well. Absolutely. All right, when's the tournament? It is March 22nd, 8.30 a.m. is the start. And a great golf course, too, you've chosen. It's not the usual suspects this time. That's correct. It's at the Golf Club of Texas off of Highway 211 and 90. Yeah, it's out there. They've got a they've got a pond shaped like Texas. It's a really they take Texas seriously out there and a great course you don't get to play too often. So fantastic. Can I ask why did you choose that course? We have a family that attends that owns that course. Hey. And they were generous enough to donate it to us. So we are very thankful for the Perry family for doing that. It is a fantastic golf course. And again, if you haven't had a chance to play it, Something you don't see every day. And, uh, and again, a great cause, too, because Ambleside I just happen to be a fan of. So just one more time, March 22nd, that's a Friday. Uh, do you know what time we tee off? 8.30 a.m. Uh, do I need to bring my own breakfast? Breakfast no, will sir. be provided. Wow, okay. Breakfast tacos, I hope, or something breakfast like that? Breakfast tacos, you've guessed it right. <laughs> and then and afterwards? I call it Leonard afterwards, just once Leonard. we're done. Yes, we'll have a fajita lunch. Yeah, very Or Leonard. Very nice. And usually in these tournaments, you need one, golfers. And you need sponsors. That's correct. Do you have any sponsors already teed up here? Or are we asking right now? We are asking we are right now. We're still looking for sponsors. <laughs> we do have some lined up. We have some teams lined up already, but we could use some more. Give me a little shout out to any of your supporters so far. Vulcan Materials, BK Paving, RNS Excavation. Stransky Properties. That's a nice starter list. Yes. Mm-hmm. And those are golfer teams or you need the big title sponsor as well, I'm sure. We, we could, could use, use a title them. sponsor. Yes, we could use more. <laughs> Again, it's Ambleside School of Bernie. Just, again, a real special place. I've had the honor of, of speaking there in your assemblies and meeting these kids and got a tour of the school. And it's just something special is happening at Ambleside. It is not your typical racing for the grade there. It's an experience. It's a culture that you guys have over at Ambleside. Carly, I'm going to let you hop in here and maybe give add a little color to what I'm talking about. Yes, it is. It's a very special place. And what I always tell prospective families when they come in to tour the school is that we are creating the future community leaders Mm. at Ampleside to be able to critically think, to be able to have empathy, to be able to work well with one another, and through a Christian foundation. It is a very special educational process that we go through. We provide the students daily with what is called the Feast of Ideas. And what that means is they are studying topics from your standard math, science, literature, and reading, all the way to poetry and composer studies and artist studies and nature studies, Bible. We have a chapel every Tuesday in which we have some New chapel speaker come and enrich them throughout the community. It is just a joyous place. And when you walk into the building and you experience it and you see these children working so diligently from pre-K all the way through eighth grade, it will warm your heart. It Mm. is a very joyful and beautiful, peaceful place. And we are very fortunate and blessed to be a part of it. Clayton, add on to that. I love the school climate at Ambleside Bernie. It's Again, Carla said it's peaceful. Just mm-hmm. go over there at pickup and see how it is. The kids are very respectful and respectable. It's ideal environment for a good education yeah. and being learning to think for yourself. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you about my experience. I got a tour and interrupted the class as, as Ms. Boshears introduced me to, to everybody. And what's going on here today? And the teacher says, oh, we're talking about the Constitution. Who would like to recite the Constitution? And I was like, what? I think third graders at the time. Just, again, just a level of intelligence intelligence and respect and love for country is what I picked up if you're studying that in the third grade. Could you speak to that? Yes, absolutely. They start their studies of American history very early. 
So it lays that foundation of understanding and they do recitations. So every week it is a different group of students during our Tuesday chapel that do these recitations. And so they sit down and they go through and they not only memorize the Constitution or the Bill of Rights or the books of the Bible, but they talk about those as well. Mm. And each student has an opportunity to add some insight or ask some thought-provoking questions and they take their time the teachers and they go through it and it is so cool to watch these children formulate and bring these ideas and concepts together and start to really understand them so they're encouraged to not only memorize but to thoroughly question and understand the materials that are presented to them wow so it's not about the grade it's not about answering the right blank that's understanding yes that's just great demonstrating mastery yes Yes. in Uh, habit training and being able to sit for long periods of time even when they're tired to push through and see the end result through which is a big part of mastering one's self Mm -hmm. which is part of the curriculum that charlotte mason who is what our curriculum is based off of was a big part of what she taught and her legacy in that is the mastery of habits, like Clayton said, and the brain science of children and how children's brains work and how information is assimilated to them and how they then can present that information. And she was well ahead of her time. And it is a tried and true process that we see that just continually works because these children that come in from other schools or maybe just are homeschooled, the parents see such a tremendous difference in not only their learning and their academics, but their behaviors at home. And it's through the the mastery of skills and the habit training. I'm going to take a wild guess and might have a feeling that you might be parents of children who attend Ambleside. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. So now I'm going to ask you the personal question there. Clayton, I'll start with you. For your son? Yes, my oldest son. What have you seen change? I've seen him grow in his self-expression and communication. Mm-hmm. His, his writing skills have increased dramatically. Yeah. His math skills are already strong, but they've increased dramatically. He's ahead of where he would have been if he would have stayed in public school. Does he in every subject own, he has. Does he go at his own pace, or how does he advance? Yes, the teachers will adjust to your pace. That every We've already discussed the whole child yeah. perspective. If he's doing well in math, then Keeps he gets going. to go to the next level. Yes, he's not held back by... Very uh, cool. The rest of the class. Or if they might all, if they're all progressing, they all get pushed more. But he is, he gets. Wow. Yeah, I'm very impressed with the academics. And about, again, the culture of the school and him just maturing as a young man, right? Yes. Wow. Yes, he's already getting leadership opportunities as a, as a sixth grader, he was getting them. But now it's really getting him as a seventh grader and getting to, to do service work. And that's going through school. So that's a big difference from where he would have been fantastic and that's why you're hosting this fundraiser so that your son can go to high school at Hamblside. yes right? sir that's correct <laughs> uh, do you have a goal for this golf tournament that's coming up well you're like how much money we need to get started get- we'd love to get fifty thousand dollars yeah well, that's a nice big number yes i think you can do it obviously we can do it yeah can. carly would you like to speak about your experience yes i have two children currently at Ampleside. my daughter my oldest she is in fifth grade She started in second grade, and where we came from, she was quite a bit behind. And within the first couple of weeks, my husband and I were just blown away at the progress that she had made. Mm. And it's just continued from there. And Clayton was saying if there is a struggle or if they are working diligently, they will, if the struggle is there, take the time to work alongside these, these students. And if they're moving ahead, then they're going to allow them to grow and mature in that manner in which they are ready. My son, this is his third year. He started in pre-K. Mm. And he has just relished in this environment and has formed some really wonderful bonds and the teachers have been such an inspiration to both of my children yeah and we are so blessed and lucky to have the staff that we do and it clearly shows through the behaviors and the habits of of my children carly what would you say is the common denominator on how what the style is of ampleside 
the focus being that it is on the whole child. So looking at the child from an emotional, academic, and social and physical. Taking a look at the child as a whole and looking at them uh, not only academically, but socially and emotionally and helping them to grow through all the different phases of childhood and leading them into best practices. And when a child has a struggle, for instance, we take the time to understand what that struggle is and why. We don't just dismiss it and we don't just discipline it. We take the time to have a conversation and allow them to express themselves and work through it. And academically, if they are struggling as well, we take the time to tutor them and to help out. If there is a request from parents to help with whatever will get their child reading sooner or understanding their math facts sooner, then we will partner with those parents in order to accomplish that at home. So we look at the child as a whole and ensuring that there isn't a single part of them that is lacking or that attention isn't being given to when and if needed. Again, I'm going to speak from my own experience when I got to speak at the chapel. So school was just starting and the moms are pulling up, dads are pulling up and the kids were getting out and the education starts at the curb. It felt, it felt like. Yes. With just the way they were greeted. Yes. Every day starts with a handshake. Yeah. Yes. yes. And an, an eye contact and a good morning. There you go. And the yes. kids still get to play too, by the way, right? Yes. yes. We start the day off letting them for the first 10 minutes of drop off run off that energy. We all know yeah. that helps tremendously. And they have periodic breaks throughout the day, which fosters that need for movement so that they can come and refocus on what it is, the task at hand and what they're learning. Starting at the top, my friend Melinda there has led the way for a few years now. Kind of brag on some of the leaders at, uh, at Ambleside. Well, Melinda Boshears, I call her our fearless principal. She has been in Ampleside education for over 20 years. Mm. Both of her children went through Ampleside and have had just such tremendous success as young adults. And one of them is a nuclear submarine engineer in the Navy. And the other one, she is a pastry chef. And it just goes to show that this education can foster the critical thinking as well as the creative thinking it's just a very well-rounded education. Melinda has been our principal at Bernie for eight years now, and she really is the heartbeat of our community, and she has been a tremendous leader. She has hired some of the best teachers I've experienced in my children's education, and we are so blessed and lucky to have each and every one of them. They come in every day with smiles on their faces. They're patient. They're loving. They're kind. They take the time that is needed for each child. And they wholeheartedly focus on that. And it clearly shows with the students. Want to add on to that there, Clayton? Well, Carly talked about Melinda. Melinda is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to talk about Rick Onofre. He's the assistant principal. This is his first year. He's also the middle school teacher. Uh, he has made a tremendous difference for these kids that are in middle school to me. He instills self-discipline, not just discipline, but self-discipline. And he's working on their leadership skills and being self-motivated to look for their own leadership opportunities and service opportunities and ways to look out for the, even the younger kids. I'm just very pleased with just knowing him for a few months at the impact he has had on that school and on those kids. It's like you can truly tell a difference. Absolutely. Well, if you'd like to learn more yourself about Ambleside School, very easy. Just go to AmblesideBurney.com, AmblesideBurney.com. Again, all the details about the great school. And again, this great event coming up, it's the Skylark. T tell me about the, why, it, well, who, how did Skylark get involved here? Who's that? The Skylark is our school mascot. Yeah. Ambleside Schools International, who we are a part of. It is a worldwide organization. We have 25 schools throughout the world, adding two more here in Texas this cool. next coming school year, which we're very excited about. And that was chosen many years ago, the Skylark, for a number of reasons, which I don't know all the details, but it is one of the beautiful and more prettier birds, I think, personally. Sure. So, And it wasn't definitely. taken. There's enough eagles around here. We, yes. need, a, we need a Skylark yes. or two. Definitely a unique choice. Yes. <laughs> it is a unique choice. Well, um, very cool. And I just want to say that 
Ampleside School of Bernie, I think, is the best kept secret in Bernie. And we would like for anybody that's interested in learning more to please come take a tour with us and see what's out there. How do we do that? Do we just go to the website? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. You can go right to the website. You can schedule a tour right on there and reach out and see what other information that would pique your interest. That website again is AmblesideBurney.com. Again, the Skylark Golf Scramble is coming up quick here. March 22nd, uh, 8.30 a.m. shotgun at the Golf Club of Texas. And so if you'd like to play, if you'd like to support, do I have to play golf if I want to support you? No, sir. What if I just want to invest in the school and I believe in what you're doing? What do I do? There's an option on our website to do that as well. In respect to the golf tournament, it's going to be a fun day. We have some awesome swag bags. You're going to get breakfast, Mary's Tacos. You're going to get it, going to get fed an amazing lunch. And it's just going to be a really fun, laid-back day. So we would just love to see a lot of local faces come out and enjoy that with us. Very cool. And we have some really amazing auction items and prizes. And one of those is a – we actually have two of them – Two four packs to the Valero Open for a private yeah. veranda suite, which includes all three meals and drinks for the whole entire day. It looks yeah. over the 16th hole. That is a amazing opportunity. So anybody who is into golf and who would love to experience the Valero Open, we invite you to come and join our tournament for an opportunity to do so. All right. So if I go to AmblesideBurney.com, where do I go to register? You'll click on the tab that says Ways to Give, and from there, you'll be able to click into Events, and you will see the Skylark Scramble, and also our upcoming event that we hold annually every year is our Art Spring event, so you can learn about that, too. We'll talk about that then. Sounds good. We'll get closer to that, because that's another, again, great opportunity there to to own something from a future leader, president, who knows, what's coming out of Ampleside. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. I'm so proud to to know you guys, so proud to partner with you, and I say God bless you. And again, Ambleside Bernie for Ambleside School of Bernie. God bless you guys. God bless you. Thank Thank you you very much. Hey, and thank you for listening to Bernie Radio, 103.9 FM.